Dr. J.W. Morrison, theologist. I just thought I'd do a quick news search on the Jehovah Witnesses, and sure enough, sure enough, first thing, former Jehovah Witness elder found guilty of sexually abusing three innocent children. Story by Grace Miller. <sighs> There's a picture of the pedophile. Former Jehovah Witness elder found guilty of sexually abusing three children. A former Jehovah Witness elder was found guilty Wednesday of sexually abusing three children in Lancaster. According to the Pennsylvania's Office of the Attorney General, Norman Aviles Garriga, 45, pleaded guilty to 12 charges related to the abuse, which took place between 1999 and 2003 in Lancaster City. Two of the victims reportedly disclosed the abuse to Jehovah Witness leaders. The office said that while meeting with elders, Aviles Gariga called the victims demons and used his leadership position to delay their baptisms in retaliation. So he was a very manipulative man, evil man. According to testimony, this elder had been expelled from the church for months before he was eventually allowed back. The abuse was later disclosed by the victims to counsellors because the Jehovah Witness elders won't call the police. The office reported and charges were filed against Aviles Gariga in 2023. After the guilty verdict on Wednesday, Aviles Gariga was taken into custody and denied bail. According to court documents, he pleaded guilty to multiple counts of aggravated indecent assault of a person less than 13, indecent assault of a person less than 13, endangering the welfare of children and corruption of minors. He will be sentenced at a later time. What you've got to understand um, is that where are the parents of these children while all this is going on? Where are the parents? What's going on here? Let's quickly just look at this. Some kind of... We'll play that. This must be... Some kind Annual of... Jehovah's Witness Convention in Evansville kicks off at Ford oh, Center. No, the event to began today and is expected to bring in 80,000 people to the downtown area. The convention features Bible-based talks, presentations, and interviews. The theme this year is to declare the good news. We're so excited to be here this weekend in Evansville. Uh, the four... No, they're all criminals. I'm not even going to listen to that. Um, okay, so there you go. And some other news. This is that same guy, um, Jehovah Witness Convention. Ukraine becomes first Jehovah Witness to face escalated persecution in Russian prison. Um, this is the big news, this bloke here. Um, yeah, so that's the big news. Another elder, another Jehovah Witness elder. I did see a tag up there, World News. Hmm. Another Jehovah Witness elder bites the dust. Um. Jehovah Bomber, ex-wife drove with bomb on board. Okay, let's look at this. You've only got to just put in Jehovah Witnesses and you get a Jehovah bomber. We don't want that. What's that? What's that? Oh no, what have I done, viewers? Oh, what have I done? No, we don't want that. Oh dear. Come on, we just want the story. Right. Okay, so we've got Jehovah Bomber ex-wife drove with bomb on board. Let's have a look. While a Styrian man, 55, who had targeted Jehovah Witnesses with two bomb attacks, 
was in custody, his former wife was still in absolute mortal danger for days. A huge mishap in the investigation has now come to light because the explosive device was not lost. The bomber who terrified the Jehovah Witnesses community in Styria for a long time has been caught. Further details were announced by the Styrian police at a press conference on the day of his arrest. The IT technician 55 who was in custody admitted to having built the de explosive devices to kill his ex-wife. He's probably been um, abandoned by the wife and shunned by the Jehovah Witnesses. The motive, a long-standing and very bitter dispute over maintenance. But even on the day of his arrest, he misled the police in order to ultimately achieve his goal to murder his ex-wife. He admitted that he had already attached the bomb to her car at the beginning of May. But the infernal machine was not found by the diffusers. They suspected that it had fallen off. Wrong, because it turned out that the bomb had been in the car the whole time. For days, the Styrian woman and other people drove around with the highly explosive luggage unaware of the mortal danger. As the police confirmed in response to a Crone inquiry, the car was returned to her after an unsuccessful investigation. After all, it was her property, they said. The state security investigators are unwilling to say how the bomber's DNA was finally found and how it could be matched to him. The suspected bomber was allegedly a blank slate until the, criminal, until the crime was committed. It is also unclear how the bombs were detonated. Did the perpetrator have a remote detonator or would they have reacted to vibrations? And how did he build them? Did he obtain a blueprint online? After all, the bomb that was deposited near the Kingdom Hall had mega explosive power and would have claimed many lives if it had, been diffu if it had not been diffused. Many questions remain unanswered. This article has been automatically translated. Wow, the Jehovah Witnesses. Never a moment without some drama. Um, oh, here's another one. Child sexual assault, Jehovah Witnesses. Charges held against Lower Burrell Man in connection with Jehovah Witnesses' child sexual assault, pro assault probe of Lower Burrell Man, who authorities say was part of a statewide probe of sexual abuse uh, among the Jehovah Witnesses community, will face charges in Westmoreland County Court. The State Attorney's General Office charged Ronald W. Mango, 69, on April um, second, with three felony counts of aggravated indecent assault, three misdemeanor counts of indecent assault and misdemeanor counts of endangering the welfare of children and corruption of minors. So there you go. Another Jehovah Witness sexual abuse claim. My sick mum refused blood transfusions based on Jehovah Witnesses' beliefs. That's correct. They'll let you die. Um, and these are probably Jehovah Witnesses that have died. Oh, well, guys, that's the latest from me on the Jehovah Witnesses. They, there really is no good news with the Jehovah Witnesses. I'm Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, um, and I'm out.